and security in Eastern Democratic Republic of Congo were among the highlights of Rwandan President Paul Kagame during his fourth swearing-in ceremony on Saturday. The conflict in Eastern DRC has seen Rwanda's relations with its neighbors deteriorate over the last two years. Moses Javier Rimana reports. During his fourth inaugural address, Rwanda's President Paul Kagame emphasized the peace and security in the region as among his priorities. The intersecting crises that define our region and our world continue to create uncertainty and distrust as a result of unaddressed inequalities and double standards. Peace in our region is a priority for Rwanda. Yet it has been lacking, particularly in eastern DRC. Last month, Rwanda and DRC signed a ceasefire agreement mediated by the president of Angola that came into effect on August 4th. The accord was reached by the Congolese army and the M23 rebel group, which DRC says is backed by Kigali. Rwanda's government spokesperson Yolande Makolo reaffirmed to VOA's James Berti that the ceasefire is the best chance for political solution to the conflict in the eastern DRC and peace in the region. Olivier Nduhungirehe is Rwanda's Minister of Foreign Affairs. Uh, we uh, supported uh, the U.S. Uh, uh, negotiated uh, humanitarian truth of two weeks and uh, requested that it is uh, extended uh, indefinitely. And second, uh, we uh, considered that the only viable um, path to uh, peace in um, Eastern DRC is uh, through political dialogue. George Odong is an East African Legislative Assembly member from Uganda. So it's very clear from the experience of the region that you can't use violence to solve violence. You cannot use armed uh, military confrontation as a means to resolve uh, major political issues in the Eastern DRC. Many Congolese remain skeptical whether the truth will end the conflict in the eastern part of the country. Dr. Nkeren Tanda is a political analyst and a professor of political science at the University of Kinshasa. Many dialogues have taken place, whether it is in, in Nairobi, whether it is in Kampala. Nothing positive has ever resulted from these dialogues. I don't expect anything beneficial for the DRC that will come from the dialogue. As long as the Democratic Republic of Congo is not able to organize herself and fight to defend her territory, nothing will change. The DRC and Rwanda are expected to engage in regional mediated talks led by Kenya's former president Uhuru Kenyatta despite uncertainty about their success. Moses Aviarimana for Daybreak Africa. The top blasts of Tanzania's main opposition party, Chadema, began a two-day meeting in Dar es Salaam on Thursday amid signs of an impending showdown over who to field against the ruling party's candidate in next year's presidential election. The Central Committee gathering was triggered by Vice Chairperson Tundulisu's surprise announcement of a fortnight ago that he was set to amount a second challenge for the presidency in 2025, this time against President Samia Suluhu Hassan. Mr. Lisu appeared to have jumped the gun, catching the party off guard, especially because its leader, Freeman Mbowe, is also believed to be announcing presidential ambitions. Though Chadema has maintained a stoic silence, offering no formal endorsement of the statement, speculations of a developing lift between the chairman and his Mav Maverick deputy have abounded. The intrigue was further fueled on Monday when another Central Committee member, Ezekiel Wenje, abruptly unveiled his own plans to contest the seat currently occupied by Mr. Lisu in internal party polls slotted for later this year. 
These back-to-back -back developments come at a time the party is heading into what is shaping up as an uphill battle against the ruling CCM in a nationwide local government elections expected in late October or early November. As such, questions have abounded about the motives behind Mr. Wenger's move and the chances that sections of the Suluhu administration may have had a hand in it to disrupt the main opposition force and cancel out the formidable threat still posed by Mr. Lisu, despite his losing to former President John Magufuli in the controversy ridden 2020 election. The latest Chadema meeting is understood to have been hastily convened hours after Mr. Winje made his announcement. The party is poised to conduct its top leadership elections before the end of 2024 once it has concluded a series of ongoing zonal polls to position itself accordingly for the civic polls. With the current focus on the bigger event, a date has yet to be set for the internal ballot which may have to wait until December at the earliest. The same month, it last held its election in 2019. Speaking at Dal Salama's Julia Sinelele International Airport on July 26th, on his return from a vacation abroad, Mr. Litu Lisu told reporters that his intention to contest the presidency again was still intact. Thank you so much for watching. Peace.